this is another solution by slope deflection equations to problem 9.4 which was solved by three moment equations so this time instead of computing for the support reactions at a b c d and e we'll just compute the internal moments including this moment reactions as a b c and d and compare with the results in the three moment equations so there are two equations in slope deflection equations for those who are still new or first time here for the better understanding of the three slope deflection equations you have to watch and study first the lecture video on the derivation of the slope deflection equations and the explanations there as well as the calculations of the fixed end moment so that you can understand the flow of the solutions here for segment of the beam with expected moments at both ends then we have 2 ei over l quantity 2 theta near plus theta far minus 3 times delta over l then plus fixed end moment at the near end if the far end has zero moment like in this case here at e then the equation is moment near is equal to 3 ei over l quantity theta near minus delta over l then plus fixed end moment near minus one half fixed end moment far the explanation and the derivation of the formulas are in the lecture part of or lecture video of the slope deflection equations so that's why we have to set up mab and mba because we expect moments at a and b so moment ab is 2 ei ei by the way is given 150,000 kilonewton meter square over l9 quantity 2 theta near 2 theta a a is the near end b is the far end since a is fixed that's why it's zero plus theta b then minus 3 delta over L. Delta is the net support uh, movement between A and B and it is 12 minus 6 or 6 mm and it is treated positive 0 0.06 meter 6 mm when the rotation of the cord between A and B is clockwise. That's the sign convention in the slope deflection equation. So minus 3 times delta 0 0.006 over 9. Then fixed end moment at A is negative because it is at the left end. So negative 60 L square over 30. WL square over 30 for this triangular loading. So simplifying, we have 100,000 over 3 theta B then the value of the side swing moment is negative 200 over 3 then minus the fixed end moment due to the load 162 combining mab is 100,000 over 3 theta b minus 686 over 3 call that equation 1 then mba all you have to do is double theta b and on the plus theta a which is 0 so that's why it becomes we double this 200,000 over 3 theta b then minus 200 over 3 which remains the same for the side zero moment then the new fixed end moment at b because b is in the right is positive wl square over 20 so 60 90 square over 20 combining moment b a is 200,000 over 3 theta b plus 529 over 3 call that equation 2 then BC, we expect moments at B and C, so 2EI over L formula, 2 times EI over L7, quantity 2 theta B plus theta C minus 3 delta over L. This time, delta is treated negative because the rotation of the chord BC is counterclockwise and delta is 12 minus 9, 3 mm. So minus 3 times negative 0 0.003 over 7, fixed moment at the left is again negative, negative 47 square over 12. WL square over 12. So simplifying, we have 600,000 over 7 theta B plus 300,000 over 7 theta C. Then due to side swing moment, 2,700 over 49. 
then due to fixing moment due to the load negative 490 over 3. So simplifying 600 moment BC 600,000 over 7 theta B plus 300,000 over 7 theta C minus 5910 over 147. Call that equation 3. MCB, you just the shortcut is you just uh, interchange coefficients so 300,000 over 7 theta B plus 600,000 over 7 theta C then plus 2,700 over 49, then plus 490 over 3 because the loading is symmetrical and it is symmetrically applied. It covers the entire span BC and the fixing moment at C is positive 490 over 3, W47 square over 12, but positive. So combining plus 32110 over 147, call that equation 4. Then MCD, 2EI, so 250,000 over L5, quantity 2 theta C plus theta D minus 3 delta over L. Delta is again treated negative because the rotation of chord CD is counterclockwise and delta is 9 minus 4, so 5 mm in meter, so negative 0 0.005 over L5. Then fixing moment at the left is negative P. A, B square over L square, so negative 50 times 2, 3 square over 5 square. Simplifying, we have 120,000 theta C plus 60,000 theta D. Side sway moment 180, then fixed end moment due to the load negative 36. So combining MCD is 12,000 theta C plus 60,000 theta D plus 144. Call that equation 5. Moment DC interchange coefficient 60. 1000 theta c plus 120,000 theta d side swing moment 180 which remain the same then fixing moment due to the load is positive this time 50 interchange the squared quantity so 2 square times 3 over 5 square or p b a square over l square then it is now 60,000 theta c moment dc plus 120,000 Theta D plus 204, call that equation 6. So before we proceed to DE, uh, fixed moment at D due to the moment is MB over L square quantity 2L minus 3B. So moment is treated positive because it is clockwise. B is the distance of the couple from A, so 4 over L square quantity 2L minus 3 times B. So this value is 0. So it is 0 at due to fixing moment DE. But fixing moment ED is MA over L square quantity 2L minus 3A. So M is 180. A is 2 distance of the couple from D over L square, so 6 square, quantity 2 times 6 minus 3 times 20. So it is positive 60 kilonewton meter for fixed end moment ED. And moment D E therefore by slope deflection equation, as I said, because the moment at D is 0, the other formula is 3 EI over L. So 3 times 150,000 over 6, quantity theta near theta D minus delta over L, delta since the settlement at E is 0, so delta is the rotation of DE is counterclockwise, so delta is treated negative, so negative 4 mm or negative 0 0.004 over L. So theta near minus delta over L, so negative 0 0.004 over 6. Fixed moment at D is 0, then minus 1 half fixed moment at ED or at the far end E is positive 60. So therefore, the side sway moment, so 75,000 theta D plus side sway moment 50, then this is minus 60, so minus 30. Minus 1 half of 60, so minus 30. Moment D, therefore, is 75,000 theta D plus 20. Call that equation 7. We then apply equilibrium at B. So MBA plus MBC equals 0. Then this is the combined value we add equations 2 and 3 then equate to 0 so 200,000 over 3 plus 600,000 over 7 theta B is 152,380.9524 theta B then 
plus 300,000 over 7 theta C, then equals 5910 50, over 147 minus 529 over 3, and that is negative 3337 over 49. Call that equation A. Then equilibrium at C, MCB plus MCD equals 0. So we add equations 4 and 5. 4 and 5, the result would be 300,000 over 7 theta B. Then 600,000 over 7 plus 120,000, that's 1,440,000 over 7 theta C. Then plus 60,000 theta D. Then equals uh, negative 32110 over 147, then negative 144 combined, that's negative 53278 over 147, call that equation B. Then at D, MDC plus MDE equals 0, we add equation 6 and 7, so we have 60,000 theta C plus 195,000 theta D equals negative 20, negative 204, so negative 224. Call that equation C. So solving equations A, B, and C simultaneously using your calculator, we obtain theta B negative 6.487458 times 10 to the negative 6 radians, theta C negative 1.565981 times 10 to the negative 3 radians, and theta D negative 6.668788 times 10 to the negative 4 radians. We can now compute moment at A, which is moment AB in equation 1. So we obtain... So 100,000 over T, theta B minus 686 over T. We obtain the same value as in three moment equation, negative 448.883 kilonewton meter. So that checks. Moment B is moment BC. So we substitute into equation 3, 600,000 over 7, theta B plus 300,000 over 7, theta C minus 15910 over 147. We obtain the same value of negative 175.901 kilonewton meter. Then MC is MCD, substitute in equation 5, 120,000 theta C plus 60,000 theta D, then plus 144, so we get negative 83.930 kilonewton meter, just like in three moment equations. Then finally, moment D is moment DE, 75,000 of theta D, plus 20 and we obtain negative 30.06 kilonewton meter. So that's it for this video.